Hello, I'm your host Denise Rojas and this is a greenhouse that we made in less than an hour. Probably could have dragged it in the same amount of time, but the van thing was a little more interesting. Got lighter as some of the water came off. There's probably still 20 gallons of water up there, so didn't help, but it's done. That's where I want it. This is 18 inch pallet wrap. I'm gonna be starting with a small stick. This stuff actually holds up really well in sunlight. I'm just gonna be wrapping this to give me a start. Forgot to anticipate that I'm not 10 feet tall. All right, so here we go. This is a stick, and I just put a simple screws to hold the cardboard to the pallet wrap. We're gonna see how this works. There's better ways of doing this, I know. Putting a swivel, I could just turn it, but we're gonna try to do this fast. It's a very incredible pain on your shoulders, but it is wrapped. So tomorrow, I'm gonna be showing you how to store some heat in there. See that we have a lot of wind right now. This is pretty iconic where we live, and uh, the stuff is actually holding up pretty good considering that this greenhouse has a flat profile to it. So, this stuff is really, really resilient. And we got a lot of rain last night. And if you do it right, it'll cling together. What I did was I actually started from the bottom up. So, what this does is it puts a top layer on, a top layer on, a top layer on. So, if you go the other direction, the water's gonna wanna come down and get caught in there. You might get some stuck in there, but for, I don't know, $7 in pallet wrap and ridiculous wind that we've had today, it's blown all of our stuff over. It actually spun this dish in a complete circle. It was that strong earlier and it's holding up. It's not ripping. If you wanna make extra sure that it doesn't rip, you can um, put a gasket behind something like this and, and put rubber. If you do get a minor tear, this was for me. You just put a little piece of tape over it. No big deal. We have an opening up there, which has to be taken care of. What I'm going to do is just run some tape around there, because what's happening is our, our heat's escaping through the top when the wind blows. So what Denise and I have done is we've made an opening here. I went ahead and framed all this, pinching the plastic down. What you do is you put um, some like strapping tape and then you just screw right into that. That'll keep it from tearing. And you get a little split there. Got a little reinforcement there too. Reinforced it here. So this whole square, we technically could just cut all that plastic away if we wanted to. And it's not gonna pull our, our area out around. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this right now. I might cut some of it off, but we're gonna put a just a thin piece of vinyl. You can use a piece of uh, visqueen for this. This is your entrance point. You we've probably have to be... Too, we can attach. We've got the grommets. Probably have to be kind of limber to crawl up under there, but we got our barrel in there and we have our black collector. Let's put two mirrors, just simple two mirrors on the back of a black sheet of material that is an absorber for the back side, so it doesn't block any of your sunlight coming in. There's another mirror over there. You want to array these so that if the sun moves, you don't go in traffic and blind people. But what you do is you take advantage of the backside of your greenhouse by adding additional light for heat for really cold times. People ask me, what about my greenhouse in the winter? Right now, I have one barrel of water in there that's got 70 degree water. We're just going to let that set overnight. It's supposed to get chilly. Right now, this uh, we just we made kind of a crappy door out of extra vinyl there's better ways of doing this I we we put this together in less less than an hour total so this stuff I sh it good wind tolerance probably not gonna last you forever but this is good for our test this is the wind that we're dealing with 30 mile an hour gust and this thing will blow around but right now on the inside
Oh no. Oh good. It is 91 degrees. Oh nice. And out here About it 65? is 63 actually. Dang. So we have almost a 30 degree difference between the two. And that's a lot of space right there. That happened quickly. So we're going to let it set. The sun's setting. You can see our shadows are creeping up on us. And we're going to know tomorrow if that water stores some heat. The idea is to use... The, I did the black water hose video. The idea is to have one of those out here. That way you're not stealing sunlight from the inside of your project. Ideally, the whole back of this should be black on one side with black material. This stuff has a habit. The corners tear this. So be careful with that, but you'd mount something. You know, you wouldn't just throw something together like this. You'd mount something. Your mirrors would come into the back and heat this black panel. The other side of the panel, over here, which I don't have right now, would be lined with like a mirror film, like a mylar. You could keep it black and get additional storage from this side, but if you want to get extra photosynthesis from the reflection of the sunlight, you would have a mirrored material coming back at your plants there. The idea, low top, sun's low in the winter time, so the you don't really utilize the top too much. So you want sunlight coming into your south side, naturally. And then on your north side, which never gets sun. <clears throat> on the north side, which never gets sun, you have black collectors there with mirrors coming in that absorb. If you don't want to reflect the sunlight back, if you do, if you do the mirrors on the inside, like the uh, mirrored film, you can do multiple layers. This is a very tall greenhouse. So you get sunlight coming in, you could do multiple layers, and your plants would get plenty of light. So you could do uh, five, six layers, 10 foot greenhouse, that's a 60 foot greenhouse that you take advantage of in a 10 foot space. So Denise and I are inside of our bubble. So much warmer in here. About 70 you said? Yeah, 70 degrees in here and it's like 46 least, outside. Yeah. What are you doing Denise? good to be in here it is 46 degrees Much outside better. which a lot of people would be like 46 degrees I'll walk around in shorts and a and it's so much so cold outside this is perfect and in here it what is, is it? What's in here now? 72 oh, it feels We got a hard freeze last night. It is it's 30 degrees out. You can see our greenhouse with the water barrel and it has some humidity buildup. Hmm. So by that thermometer gets the temperature. We got our usual ice on. We got ice on everything. Ah. So it looks like thirty nine point six degrees, and then if I pull it out. You can watch the temperature descend all the way down to <coughs> what it was, probably 31 degrees. So there's an 8, 9 degree temperature difference with the barrel of water in there and the what we did. We had higher humidity last night and the frost was there because we didn't have the wind. So that's something that you can expect. So we have 67 Degrees out, 38% relative humidity. Very dry day. Would have been a good day to do the zero pot, actually. But what we're going to do is go over here, and I'm going to show you the greenhouse. We don't have the mirrors. That, well, I did a little bit. 
but I'm just gonna get this in there and you're gonna watch the humidity just scream this keeps your plants nice and moist when you do it like this The temperature on this particular device moves pretty slow. It's not um, as quick as the other one. But the humidity is the key thing that I wanted to show you. So I'm just going to let this sit for a little bit since it takes longer for the temperature to register we're 88 degrees so there's a 21 degree difference at this level pretty good um it's held up to a freezing night uh would have kept frost off of plants it kept them above freezing when it was 30 degrees with just that tub of water so if you had more tubs of water it would be better i haven't really had these mirrors in position all day they look like they are but you don't have to put a tracking system on your mirrors either and the idea is that the you put many of them so 12 o'clock sums on other times they may not be but again just make sure that it doesn't do something stupid like go out into traffic or go in your neighbor's house anything like that any of the holes like the one I just made there just tape it up I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.